I have reacted to the most reacted video about Warhammer there is. You know the one, Brickus video. And also, that's the very beginning of my Warhammer React journey. When I started making content for YouTube, I initially thought I would just, you know, do the usual, do some gaming videos, maybe do a little bit of art, but it didn't really pan out that way. And someone special to me told me that I should try reacting to Warhammer. And so I did. And I reacted to the most reacted Warhammer video by VTubers so far. As far as I know. As far as I am aware of. Let's just say. The Bricky video. You know the one. Ooh, everything you need to know about Warhammer. Is that the video? Uh, you know, I, I'll put it here somewhere. Anyway. That's the start of me being a bit more aware about the Warhammer universe. And to say it opened my eyes is an understatement. Or is it? Maybe it's actually an overstatement <laughs> to think about it. It's, it's not that I, it's not that information just passed through my head like you know cold air. Some of them stuck to me, but to be honest with you, I can't really tell. I can't, I can't really tell you what the, what the video was all about. I'm gonna have to check. It's like, what was it about again? Eh, everything you need to know about Warhammer. Top 10 factions about Warhammer. I don't know. Anyway, we're not talking about that. We're talking about the uh, Emperor. Right. The first thing that I learned about Warhammer is the Emperor. Because someone talked to me about it. Someone special. Okay? I asked, actually my very first question when I was aware about Space Marines, that was the first thing I know, based on popular media of course, the blue Space Marines, the Ultramarines. And I remember the first question I asked is, do Space Marines poop? And the answer is, I think they don't need to poop. And also, I think Reddit said, I read somewhere in Reddit that, like, they don't really need to poop. So, maybe they don't poop, they don't have to, maybe they don't even eat a lot. But I'm sure they eat something, right? Surely. I am yapping about Ultramarines. Because that's where it started, okay? That's where my awareness about Warhammer started. And then, um, that person told me about the Emperor. He talks about this person who is a beacon in the darkness of the warp. Because he was talking about space travel. He talked about like humanity was able to invent a way to travel, to transverse across galaxies, across universes in light speed. Maybe more than light speed. And in order to do that, they have to pass through the warp. And the warp is full of demons, and they will grab you if they see you. Maybe they're gonna grab a ship, and it's like, oh my god, tasty snack for me. Spaceship, hell yeah, full of uh, space marines and humans. They're gonna slurp you up. So, in order to not get lost in the warp, because the warp is a big place, I think, maybe, I don't know how big the warp is. Does anybody know how big the warp is? I don't know. In order to not get lost in the warp filled with demons, there is this person that guides them, the beacon, the emperor, is a big flashlight in the darkness. And that's how they find their way back home. Um, I, I, uh, their way back home to the planet called the uh, human planet. I don't know, Earth, maybe they live on Earth. Although I do seem to remember that there's a bunch of planets that's inhabited by humanity. It's not just Earth that has humans. There's a bunch of planets, they have humans, and all of them are part of the Empire. Emporium. Empire. I don't know, man. The Warhammer expert, I'm just here to tell you what I learned. So, that's the role of the Emperor. I think, in the current state, he's a big flashlight. So that the people don't get lost in the warp, they could go home, they could navigate. And they could be back with their families, probably. Who is the Emperor, anyway? Let me tell you! 
everything I know. I read a little bit on the wiki, just a little bit. Um, I couldn't really stand a lot of words. I'm like, ah, so much words. So I just came through it. This is what I remember. What I remember, of course, she's the big daddy of Warhammer, right? Because he's literally that flashlight that guides everyone to go home. And another thing that's very important, that's why he's the big daddy of uh, Warhammer, is he united humanity through peaceful means, very, very peaceful means. Yes, Crusades. Those are the peaceful means that he did to unite humanity under one banner. His banner, of course. Why wouldn't it be about uh, his banner? It's, it's about him, after all, right? Humanity is centered around this big man. He's about like 14 feet or so. I read it somewhere. I read it on a, another wiki. It's like 14.11 feet or something. He's very tall, very huge man. How did he... No, that's the question. The question is, how did her mother survive giving birth to such a big baby? Imagine, if he's 14 feet, that means he's a huge baby. I wonder if his mother died from childbirth because he's such a huge baby or something. Because there's not really much information about his parents. It says that there's not much information about his parents, except that he was probably born in what is currently Anatolia. Turkey? Oh, by the way, that's why he's drinking coffee in my art. I thought like, oh, you know what? What's, uh, what should I draw the emperor doing? You know what? Just drinking coffee. Just uh, show the scale. Show how big he really is. Look at that little coffee cup. Yes, that's a normal sized coffee cup. Okay. It just looks really tiny on his um, claw. On his left claw. That's also very important to the lore, I feel. Left claw, very important. He roars at everyone, slashes them, probably. That probably helped him win the wars. I mean, the peaceful... Um, he, that probably helped him win the peaceful negotiations to unite humanity. And also, one more. One more thing that I remember from reading as perusing the wiki. Is that he's usually depicted with... A golden armor. Although, it says clearly on the wiki that nobody really knows what he looks like. Which is pretty strange. Because I was thinking, like, surely someone knows who, who he, what he looks like, right? Surely, like, maybe the the guards. What are the name, names of the guys? The banana guys. The banana guys that guard his throne knows what he looks like. Surely the Primarchs know what he looks like. Because they've seen him. They, there is he's their father so surely they know what they look like what he looks like i don't know i'm just saying somebody out there knows what he looks like but it's very clear that he is usually depicted with a golden armor so that's why i drew the golden armor it has to be golden that's what it is about the eagle on his chest i don't know what does it mean is an eagle the sikaka maybe he's american Wait, he's burning in Turkey, never mind. But it, it means freedom. Eagle, freedom. Yes, that's the meaning of the eagle. Also, on the right shoulder pad, there is this face. I don't know what this means. What is this? I just saw it on two artworks that seem to be very... I just saw them in the official artworks. These two artworks in particular are what I use as a reference to draw my own art, my own fan art. I don't know what this screaming person is on his shoulder pad. I don't know what it does. Why is there like a flame or a light coming from it? It looks cool though. Maybe it's the only reason why it's there. It's, it looks cool. Yes. Okay, what else? He has uh, really luxurious hair. It also seems to be a common theme on all the art that I've searched about the uh, Emperor. He has long, luxurious brown hair. Like a model for a shampoo commercial. Yes. Use the Emperor shampoo. 
have nice long locks. Maybe it could grow you into a taller person. Side effects may include having the sudden urge to fight for your country. And also, side effects might include having a chiseled jaw. Because, you know, sometimes when you shower, the shampoo gets on your face, gets on your jaw. It's like, oh, I'm transforming. Oh, my God. My jaw. <laughs> I'm becoming more Chad. Oh. I mean, who doesn't want that, right? Try the Emperor, Emperor shampoo today. Yes. What else? What else do we see here? Yes, look at this. This is what stuck to me when I first saw this artwork. The fur really looks like little hamsters. Little hamster fur. So I decided to keep that. Little hamster fur. It also is very cute. It looks good on him, you know? And check out that jawline. Holy moly. <laughs> Dude. The only thing I was thinking about when I started drawing this was like, I have to make him look as Chad as possible. Because he's the man. He's the man of the hour. Not the hour, actually. He's the man of the century. The millennium. The millenniums. You know? Like, a lot of millenniums. He's the man. So I'm like, okay, gotta make him bigger than life. Larger than life. And what better way to do that than to make him the ultimate chadicles? Mm. Yes. Let me show you something quite interesting. So on characterprofile.fandom.com, there is a profile about the Emperor. And it's kind of funny because it kind of looks like a Tinder profile. It says here his name, God Emperor of Mankind. Yep. Sex male, 48,000 years old. And also it says he's a homo superior species. This is where I saw his height, by the way. If he has a Tinder profile, imagine, dude. I feel like what is gonna say the emperor, Tinder profile. Tall, very tall. He's a loving father of 21. Muscular, very strong. Will lift you up when you're down. And yeet you across the solar system. Maybe, if you're being naughty. Can punch a planet? Knows exactly what you're thinking of for dinner. So I said, that's pretty good. Swipe right. For the emperor. Because if you swipe left. Somebody about to be inquisitorial. <laughs> and we both know the only thing you wind up your ass is the emperor's mighty flaming sword. So there's that. I think that's what the Emperor's Tinder would look like if he has a timber Tinder. Does he need a Tinder? Probably not, right? Because he could just make babies on his own with science. In fact, he made a lot of them. They got yeeted all over the universe, though. I forgot how they got yeeted. Something happened, they got yeeted. And eventually, he was able to find them again. And yeah, maybe it was a happy reunion. I wonder if he was happy when they, when he saw his children. Was he happy? Do you think he gave them a hug? Probably, right? And after that, some things, some more eventful things happen. And uh, one of his sons, the bald one, stabbed him. And he got weakened. That's why he's on the throne now. He seems to be like the... Isn't he, like, the the oldest of them? Am I just assuming stuff? Probably. Anyway, he betrayed the, the Emperor. And stabbed the Emperor for some, or something. And I think the real reason why he stabbed his father is because he's bald. And he cannot grow a long, luxurious hair. Maybe next thing I'm gonna draw him on a throne, uh, stinking up the place with the banana guy. With a guardian, I don't know his name. Yeah, the banana guy in Emperor TTS. Yeah. Well, let me know down below in the comment section if you want me to draw that version of the Emperor. But for now, we're drawing him in his prime days, in his heyday, in his uh, b the most glorious, beautiful days with the long hair. 
really uh, beautiful face, well chiseled. Mm -hmm. Yes, relaxing with a cup of coffee, a cup of recaf. I thought it was uh, kind of funny that he's uh, he's holding the little uh, cup with the claw. And also, I just wanted to draw the claw there. It's kind of cute. It's just a big claw, a little cup. It's so cute. Mm. I love it. It looks silly, but beautiful and glorious. Look at that hair, though. Yes. I love drawing hair. Mm. But anyway, here we are. <laughs> Ta da! Here we are. The Emperor in all his mighty glory let me know what you think about this and let me know what you think about my knowledge with the, the emperor lore that's all i know and subscribe like if you like it comment down below which character do you want me to draw next and i'm gonna tell you the full lore of that character or not, maybe not. Maybe I'll just read a little bit about them and uh, talk about it. Yeah. Thanks for watching. See ya.